Hey guys, this is Eli or Jimmy from Red Queen Incorporated, and today I'm doing something very different that I haven't done for video yet, but I've had this program for a while. It's called Minimator, and basically this is a free open source like animation program for Minecraft. So you basically just it's really simple, but I'm just going to show you how to use it real quick, like just the basics and I know most of you don't want to watch like a 10 minute video, so this is going to be like a 2 minute tutorial. So, um, first of all, to look, look around, normally you just go like this, like left click and drag. You can go into the world, it's flat, the ground is. <clears throat> and there aren't any clouds yet, but um, they are coming in the impending update, 7.0 I think. And either 7.0 or 1.7, I don't remember, <laughs> but you basically to start out, you go over here to add, and then you can choose your character, or you could choose your scenery, and scenery could be a schematic from M MC Edit. if you know how to do that, I'll show another tutorial on that, and um, it could be anything, but let me go to schematics, and they have some preloaded schematics for you in this folder when you download it. And so I'm going to go with, um, let's go with sandstone building. So it loads it when you double click it. And there we go. So now we have the sandstone building. And um, you might be wondering how to look around normally because <laughs> if you just go like this, it rotates around a certain axis point and so if you want to go normally you just right click and that makes you look around from where you're standing and you can also right click and like move with your normal WASD keys and use Q and E to go up and down E is up and Q is down that's a little bit confusing but here we go so we have this house and it is basically no clip so you can just walk through walls and stuff and you can let me go to my person this is the timeline down here so you can click and it sets a keyframe and the keyframe is basically the key like it's the picture the the starting picture in your animation because all video is made up of a bunch of frames or pictures so the first keyframe you click on it and it's on the character then I come over here to the right and go to position and it'll come up with this and I can either move it move the person from the green box over here that's a little bit slower more precise or I could just use these which I use a lot more and move it around and get it where I want it. Let's put it like at the door maybe. That's a good spot. And just get them up there and the characters and all the blocks are no clip too so they can drift through walls and whatnot. So have them right here at the door and this actually looks like a pretty cool picture so if I wanted to use this picture for let's say my intro, like I'll use this as the thumbnail I guess for the video I go up here on the left and do export as screenshot so sorry if this tutorial is a little bit jumbled but um, just stick with me so I'll say tut for tutorial and save it and it'll save this picture right here and it'll come up in Windows Photo Viewer, and um, yeah, so I have this picture. To move the character more precisely, you can go down to the keyframe, click it again, and you can untwirl the position box and go to the rotation box. You can rotate the person in whatever direction, <laughs> you can make him lay down or whatever, make him diagonal, which is not supposed to be in Minecraft. But, um, it is in Minimator, I guess. You can scale him to a different size so you can make him freaking giant or so tiny you can't see him or just like child sized. 
Look at that. And alpha is his color, or like his um, transparency. So I can make him completely transparent, or halfway, like a ghost or something. Then there's overlay, which is the color overlay. So if I wanted to make him, um, let's not say black. <laughs> um, let me make him like red or something. If I wanted to make him orange, just turn up his alpha. Transition, this is for two keyframes. So if I put another keyframe here, and... On this keyframe, I have him rotate up like this, and grow giant, and become visible again. Untwirl these real quick to keep it clean. I can adjust the transition from linear to instant, so if I come over to the beginning and then click play, that <laughs> oh wait I need to change the first box um, transition change it to instant and then it'll just go back and forth between growing you can't even see it because it's so fast if I put another keyframe right here you will be able to see it so let me do that and like that that's instant and then linear is just a basic like smooth movement ease in ease out ease in and out so all of these are really useful for animations and that's pretty much the very basics of in or minimator sorry i almost said MC, mc edit um i hope you like this tutorial i'll go more in depth in future videos so stick with me sorry for this being so jumbled but um, I hope you liked this video. Please like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.